Hey, it's Joseph with Ghostly Pixels, and I have a quick video tutorial for you today on how to take a few different elements from Adobe Illustrator, put them into Adobe Photoshop, and really get a nice little overlay effect going on. So, um, we will be using both Illustrator and Photoshop for this tutorial. And if you want to follow along and use the exact elements that I use in this video, then you can download. Uh, the zip file containing all these elements directly beneath this video. So go ahead and download those elements and uh, let's go ahead and jump in here and get started. First off we want to create a new uh, Photoshop document. So I'm going to select the print uh, option letter landscape. Let's roll. Okay so here's my new document. Um, I have the layers palette, character palette. We also want the swatches palette. So we're going to go to the window menu and select swatches. Excellent. All right, let's dock these swatches here. Perfect. Okay. So we need to actually add the sample illustration elements uh, to this document. So let's click and drag. So here we have it. We've added the rhombus, and yeah, that's how you spell rhombus. Okay, moose antlers, let's drag those in. Cool, we now have our two sample items. And if you haven't downloaded these yet, uh, there's a link beneath this video where you can actually go and download these elements and follow along. Okay, so let me scale these up to be a little bit larger in my document. I will click and drag, I'm using the move tool. Uh, it can be accessed through this icon or by typing B. So if I shift click, all right, I can drag this up, make it a little bit bigger. And if I happen to get it off center while uh, scaling, I can type Command A and hit these two alignment icons. Uh, center horizontal, center vertical. Command D, deselects. All right, so here's my two layers. Now, let's move forward with creating our overlay effect. Uh, so first off, let's change the color of the moose antlers. If I double click on the icon part, we didn't get very far. Now here on my Mac, uh, it's actually converted these to a PDF. That is no help at all. I want to actually load these. If you're lucky, it launched Illustrator. But let's go ahead and tackle this issue now. Um, I'm going to go to my Finder window. I'm going to type Command I, and I will tell my Mac to open this with Illustrator because Preview is not helping. There we go and I want to change all. So now all EPS documents will open with Illustrator. Yes, I want to do that. All right, let's get back on track here. So now if I double click this icon, it's going to launch Adobe Illustrator. I'll click yes to this uh, menu item. Let me scale Illustrator here. All right, there we go. Okay, so now let me edit the color of this of these antlers right here. And I'll type Command A to select my entire document. I will double click here. And for this example, I want to choose a, uh, a nice muted red color. I'll click OK. Now if I return to Photoshop, nothing's happened yet. I actually need to save my document. Click OK. And I'll close it. Now when I return to Adobe Photoshop, there we go. Uh, my update has been applied. So next up, let's edit the rhombus. I'll double click on the icon. Okay, I'll click yes. Now, same thing here. Let's change this to blue for this example. All right, there we go. Eh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, again, I need to, uh, if I go back to Photoshop, all right, nothing's happening here. So I need to actually save the file. Now this is actually saving the original EPS file. So if you don't want to edit the originals, then you need to duplicate them before you place them in Photoshop. All right, close that document, go back to Photoshop. So there we have it. Now what about this overlay technique I've been promising? Well, let's click on this layer right here. I want to go to the blend mode drop down and instead of normal let's actually go with darken Ooh, so there you have it there's the uh, the overlay technique I've been talking about 
Let me see, technically not overlay. Technically overlay, by the way, would be selecting overlay mode. There you have it, which uh, each of these different modes do different things. If we had a darker background, uh, we would see it, but in terms of the effect that we're achieving, it to me, it looks like an overlay. So what up? That's what I called it. Let's actually go ahead and add some cool text to it just because it's going to make it look cooler. So you can type T or click on the T tool. I also selected the center align icon here at the top. Now let's go ahead and type out some text. So there you go. So let's make one more tweak to, uh, to change up this design a bit. Uh, we've already applied the overlay technique, so if that's what we came for, then uh, we have completed the lesson. Uh, but let's go ahead and tweak this, because uh, this design's bugging me. Uh, I will double click on the antlers here again, edit it one more time. I'm actually going to, uh, oops, let's select the direct select tool. I will click and delete one of these antlers. Again, this edits the original file, so you want to duplicate the file if you don't want to um, jack with your original file. Now this is a little more interesting to me. I'm, I'm getting carried away here, right? Us designers, we have to keep jacking with stuff, but uh, that shows the overlay technique a little bit better there. So there you have it. I hope that was uh, handy for you. For more videos like this, subscribe to my newsletter. There's a link beneath this video. You can also subscribe on YouTube if you're watching this video on YouTube. I'll be sending more good stuff like this your way.